Welcome to Finance in Excel video number 60. Hey, if you want to download these PowerPoints for Chapter 7 or the Excel workbook, click on the link directly below the video and down, scroll all the way down to the Finance Excel class section and then download the PowerPoints and workbooks. All right, our uh, first video for Chapter 7, we talked about common and preferred stock. We're just going to briefly go over some basics of financial markets. And then uh, starting next video, we'll start doing our Excel uh, stock valuation based on dividends. Hey, financial markets, primary, secondary. We mentioned this already in this class. Primary is just when the firm issues the equity or the debt. This is when the cash actually goes into the company. Primary markets, right? So corporation issues the security, gets cash or capital. Secondary markets, hey, that's us. After the original sale of equity or debt, you can buy or sell. Now, if we're going to talk about the financial markets in buying and selling stock, we got to differentiate between, whoa, my headset almost came off. We have to differentiate between a dealer and a broker. So for dealer, think used car dealer, right? This car dealer maintains inventory. The dealer, the car dealer, owns the car, they sell it, right? A broker, you want to think of real estate broker. Does the real estate broker own the house? No, they don't. They just bring buyers to buyers and sellers together. All right, so a dealer. Dealer actually maintains, and we have uh, uh, dealers uh, in the NASDAQ, in the New York Stock Exchange, but they man maintain an inventory of securities. They are ready to buy or sell at any time. Most debt is sold this way. Example on the NASDAQ, the National Association of Securities Dealer Automated Quotation System. So the word dealer is right in that. Dealers buy and sell securities for themselves, right? So there's the bid, and we mentioned this in an earlier chapter too. Bid is the price the dealer is willing to pay, and ask price dealer willing to sell. And the difference between those is called the spread or the dealer's profit. All right, a broker brings, uh, oh, so a dealer, right? In the New York Stock Exchange, there are people called specialists, which uh, actually have an inventory of stocks. Broker, at the New York Stock Exchange, there's a bunch of commission brokers. Whoa, I'm clicking in the wrong place. And uh, they are uh, working for clients, right? And so they are, are trying to buy or sell stocks uh, for their clients. All a broker does is bring the buyers and sellers together. Most of the large firm's equity is sold this way. Example, New York Stock Exchange. All right, let's talk about uh, the exchanges, New York Stock Exchange. In terms of dollars, it's the largest stock market in the world. Now, we got to talk about what it was like prior to 2006 and after because what happened in 2006? Wow, the New York Stock Exchange actually sold stock in themselves and went public. Uh, before uh, 2006, there was uh, this many exchange members that owned seats and a collect and a, what they owned seats on the New York Stock Exchange and collectively they were the owners. Get this, four million bucks was the record uh, for a seat in 2004. But after. Uh, New York Stock Exchange issued stock and became uh, a corporation. Now exchange members uh, purchase what are called trading licenses, and get this, and there's a maximum of a 1,500. About they sell for about 45,000 bucks or somewhere in there. Trading license just simply entitle you to buy and sell securities. Uh, more about the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, whoa. They merged in 2007 with Euronext. So now there are eight countries around the world that are in, represented in this New York Stock Exchange Group Incorporated. So those are the countries. And it's open 21 hours a day. All right, um, at the New York Stock Exchange, there's uh, specialists, commission brokers, floor brokers, floor traders. Specialist is a dealer who stands at a station and specializes in buying and selling certain number of stocks. These are the market makers. Uh, and they post the bid and ask. So you can walk 
you know, walk up to one of these stations and see the actual bid and ask price. Uh, commission brokers, these, as we mentioned before, they represent their clients and they either buy or sell from other commission brokers or buy and sell at the ask bid ask price um, from the specialist. Now floor brokers actually help the commissioner uh, commission brokers and the floor traders are people that just trade on their own account. Now I want to look at this video here. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to right click open hyperlink. We are going to watch a video of a video. Welcome. I'm Ted Weisberg and I want to welcome you to the New York floor, the New York Stock Exchange and I'm going to take you on a tour of the exchange. We're in what we call the main room, and you need to look at this beautiful ceiling because this is a uh, this is a spectacular room that has been here as long as the exchange has been here, which is well over a hundred years. The specialists are at the kiosks that we see around us, trading different stocks, and the brokers communicating with their clients are lined all around all, are lined all around the room. So now, what I do as a broker, my my responsibility is to represent my clients on the trading floor. I guess I should bid 95, right? Buying the stock as cheaply as I can or selling it as dearly as I can. And I call the client the dog. The dog can live in London. The dog can live in San Francisco. The dog is the decision maker. All I'm doing is imp implementing that process. So uh, we just got an order. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter this order trades right here electronically and then we'll go over and see what the stock looks like see we're going to go to where this particular stock trades so it trades at post 4 section s so we walk around post 4 this is all goldman sachs spear leads they're the dealers in all these stocks the stock is the ggp ggp can you tell me how ggp is Right. Let's give you a name up now. Thank you very much. A broker, of course, has his orders, but he's always looking up to get a sense of what the market is doing, reading the headlines, looking at what oil is doing, look at what gold is doing, looking at what the Dow is doing, looking at the currencies, and I guess if he needs to know, looking at what time it is around the world. Well, when I come to work every day, this is exactly where I come. This is Seaport Security's location on the trading floor. Uh, my clerk uh, Lewis is uh, here, and uh, uh, Lewis, come say hello. Hi. And uh, we we actually are on the trading floor about eight or eight fifteen every morning. Lewis is here, and uh, I think a lot of money changes hands. A lot of money. Is it gambling? I guess it's all in the eyes of the beholder. Uh, certainly, there is a, a a huge risk element to it. So, if there's risk, I guess it's fair to say it is a form of gambling. I don't choose to see it that way. If I want to gamble, I go to Las Vegas. And now to continue our tour, this is the podium where they ring the bell. And at four o'clock, they ring a bell and trading ends. Somebody presses a button, the, the, button, the bell goes off. A hammer down, like at the docket, and it's over. And it happens at exactly four o'clock every day and it's never changed. And luckily in these bad markets, I'm glad it's over at 4 o'clock because if by 4 o'clock you've had enough, you just want to go home. Pretty cool video. We got to see it live. The New York Stock Exchange. Here's a drawing. Uh, the specialists or the market makers, these are the guys or gals that sell certain stocks. These are the dealers, right? They sit at these stations. And all these little stars over here are the commission brokers. They represent clients, buy and sell with other commission brokers, or they can uh, buy or sell at the bid or ask price from the specialist, right? This is called the crowd. They're hanging out here at this, um, trying to sell a or buy a particular stock. Here's phones in various places around uh, the floor. So that's a little drawing. Uh, let's go back over to our PowerPoints. Um, New York S Stock Exchange operations. The operational goal is to attract order flow. Um, and the New York, uh, another point about the New York Stock Exchange specialist, each stock has one 
and only one assigned specialist. All trading in that stock occurs at that specialist post. Now, that's different than the NASDAQ. Let's uh, turn to the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotation System. They also recently merged with OMX. Large portion of technology stocks um, trade here. You know, and usually what happens, uh, there's smaller companies on the NASDAQ, and you know, when they get big enough, they move over to the uh, New York Stock Exchange. Oh, but not some companies, you know. Intel, Microsoft, and others have just stayed with the NASDAQ. What this is, it's a computer-based quotation system where dealers post price and number of securities to trade to subscribers to the NASDAQ. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. That means there's no floor, no physical location. There's multiple market makers, right? These are dealers that buy and sell, not just one like the at uh, New York Stock Exchange. Now, with the NASDAQ, there's three different levels of information. Level one is real-time bid-ask quotes. That's it. Doesn't say who's bidding or how many. Level two, real-time bid-ask quotes and who is bidding and who is asking and how many. Finally, the third level is just for the dealers, right? This is for them to enter information, bid, ask, and other information into the system. All right, um, one last thing. I want to go out to uh, Yahoo and maybe search just a little bit here. Yahoo Finance, however you get there, Yahoo Finance. And right here, I'm going to type in IBM. IBM enter. You can t uh oh. Um, let's try that again. They were trying to trick me there. Something like that. IBM. Oh, that's much more polite. All right. So the last trade. This is was the last time it was traded. Uh, trade time. That's a date, right? Because I'm shooting on a Sunday, so the the markets have closed. Uh, oh, it went up. So IBM went up two dollars and seventy cents. That's a 1.92 percentage gain in one day. The previous close, that means the day before. So here is 140.90 and at the end of this particular trading day, October 29th, it went up um, two dollars and seventy cents. Open, that's how much it opened for at um, the, on this day. The bid, the ask, the days range, so it traded between 140.75 and 144. The 52 week range, so from 116 to 144. Uh, volume, some other information here PE, earnings per share. Ooh, and the dividend, 260. This is uh, dividend, whatever the current dividend is. And the dividend yield uh, at 1.8. Now over on, and this is Yahoo Finance, over on the left there's lots of interesting uh, links. The order book, and you might try this when the market markets are over, it'll actually have the o order book with bid and ask prices uh, right there. Historical price is another great one. If you need to find out what the price was at some point in time, you can actually search, right? I used to use... Uh, bigcharts.com uh, years ago that was a great site uh, that's trying to trick me again that was a great site for historical quotes but uh, you know Yahoo Finance or Google Finance for that matter has has it all uh, we go down here um, key statistics that has a bunch of um, stats um, all sorts of stuff here. There's our total debt to equity, some of the ratio stuff we talked about in earlier chapters. If you want the huge financial statements downloaded, the Securities and Exchange Commission filings, they're right there. Industry, competitors, analysts, um, and down here finally we have some financial statements. These are um, abbreviated financial statements, uh, not the big huge one with all the notes like at the SEC. Um, all right, uh, that's it for financial markets. When we come back in our next video, we'll talk about dividends as future cash flows and valuing a stock. All right, see you next video.